Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the Friday edition of Today in Sports Betting. We're doing an MLB style right here, taking a look at the entire MLB card for Friday. We're gripping it and ripping it going right through and who better do that with than my partner in crime, my right-hand man. He is Scott Reichel. What's up, my man? Uh, nothing much. Pretty good day yesterday. Uh, I know the Yankees lost the game, which was unfortunate, uh, even though I had a little, uh, even though I gave it a lead on Tampa. But how about those Islanders? Uh, I I was really hoping they would not make me sweat with a 3-0 lead and having to blow a two-goal lead in game four for the sweep. And they responded with a shutout. It was a phenomenal performance. Didn't have to sweat out of anything. And now I get to kick back and relax and see who the Islanders potentially get destroyed by in the next round. No, but I'm, I'm happy with the outcome. And, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit on cloud nine from a uh, fan perspective. Hey, you know who can uh, you know who can pitch a little bit? Who? Uh, a kid named Shane Bieber. He's a pretty good oh, pitcher. Oh, I, I heard rumors that, uh, you know, he strikes out a lot of guys. He does. 11 strikeouts yesterday and, again, in six innings. Uh, no earned runs, no walks. Well, we both leaned to the Indians minus one and a half, right? Yeah, and we got we kind of got lucky there because the Indians again couldn't score. But there was they, an error in the eighth that helped give out another free run. Yeah, yeah, uh, it was a it was it's it's what it's what what needed to get us over the hump there, and uh, the Indians pick up the one run in the eighth, and that takes it over the run line. So yep, Pittsburgh gave them all they wanted, but uh, they gave it, them all they wanted by scoring no runs. Well, you know they did that. Yep. They, no, I know what you meant. I I know. The pitching held him intact. Uh, all, the, all the sad news also as a Yankees fan, uh, yeah, Yankees got a couple games canceled because the Mets had a potentially uh, a potential COVID positive or two. Mm -hmm. So that series got canceled. And, uh, yeah, I hope uh, the Yankees don't have to take a day off for the next week and a half. But then again, you view the Yankees injury report, and I feel like 10 days off might not be a bad thing. Uh, no, that's a uh, – I, I agree. Um, you know that they, uh, I, you know, I, I use ESPN and they also, they, they, they link with vivid tickets. You can, you can, uh, you, you see tickets for the uh, St. Louis game as low as $342. I actually clicked on that. It's the bar. You can, you can go sit at the bar and watch the, uh, so you're telling me that you can sit at the bar for $342. Uh-huh. Uh, you can, or you could go to, uh, to Wrigley. I guess they've got kind of some, some set up there. You can, uh, maybe at the, I don't know, maybe it's that building across the street. Hear me out here. You could watch it on cable for free with a beer in your hand. <laughs> Hot take, you know. Well, you can uh, you can make that argument against ever going to a game. So, well, especially if you're not actually going to be there with a crowd for the experience. I think the experience is most of the reason why you go to the ballpark in the first place. Yeah, I'm just saying, if you got a few hundred bucks, you can see live baseball at a couple of venues there in the Midwest. So that's fair. I think you'd be better off buying 342 scratch offs, but that's just my own opinion. <laughs> Agreed. Um, anything else? Uh, nothing. Nothing really else uh, surprising. Uh, I went to the Phillies yesterday. Uh, a seven nothing lead in the second leg of a double. Oh, game. that's right. And they they blew they they blew a seven nothing lead in a seven run in a seven inning game. Lost eight seven. That that's yeah. almost impossible. I, I don't know how you even do that. Uh, they lose nine eight. Nine yeah. eight. Sorry. How how do you blow a seven run lead in a seven inning game? Well, you know, uh, I, I just I watched Houston try to do it. They had a uh, they had a ten three lead. Well, I know they cashed a premium for you. They did. That was a, that was my third premium pick. And that was my favorite play on the board. I didn't even know it was your premium. And yeah, we loved we loved that play. That was, and, and they just about they just about pissed it away. And Marquez got killed. Was they it even to, the bullpen? Marquez got killed. Marquez gave up ten. Yeah, he, he got killed. He got hung with all all ten in five innings. That's good. That's gonna hurt your ERA right there. People will hate on Houston. Uh, for what happened last year, which makes sense, doesn't change the fact that on paper they're still a really good team. Yep, absolutely. All right, let's take a look at uh, today's schedule because I know you and I we have we still have our UFC show to do. Yep. So uh, let's rip, let's rip through these. Uh, starting off here with the Marlins and Nationals, Corbin spinning for the Nats against uh, Daniel Castano. For the Marlins, I think Castano uh, may at some point be a good pitcher. I not, don't think, not yet, though. I don't think that point is today. Uh, Corbin having a nice season. Uh, Nats are big favorites here, minus 205. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go Nationals first five run line here. Uh, yeah, okay. I can, uh, I can go, I can go with that. I think that's the, I think that's the, I think that's the play. You get a little bit of value there. Um, Rays and Jays. You don't have to call me Ray. You can call me Jay. Anyway, uh, 
shout out to my old people, Ryan Yarborough going for the Rays against the uh, revamped Matt Shoemaker for the Blue Jays. I think he's now stayed healthier longer than he has any time in the last five years. So shout I out. hope you didn't jinx him, but yes. Shout out to Matt Shoemaker. Uh, 162 for the Rays, plus 140 for Toronto. I see it even lower. I see around 150 on Bet Online. Uh, for for uh for what? For Tampa, isn't Tampa money line like 151? Uh, I've got it at I got it at 162. I'm on. I'm using DraftKings. I I was I didn't have any luck getting into Bet Online today for some reason. Okay. Well, I'm I see according to a database that I'm using that uh Bet Online has minus 151. Okay. All right, very well, good. I'm still taking Tampa. Uh, I watched them kill the Yankees over the over the past couple of days. After a slow start, I said Tampa would go on a run, and I said it would be an eight-game winning streak. I believe it was a five-game winning streak and now like a four-game winning streak, so they broke it up in between. But they're in first place now, right? Tampa is in first place now. They did take over from the Yankees, I believe that is. I believe uh, that is correct, sir. I'm going to go with Tampa. Props to Toronto for having the comeback yesterday in that, uh, in that doubleheader game. But Tampa's just rolling. They are. They are. Um, Yarborough has uh, has pitched okay. Um, he has uh, uh, he's been solid. You know, Shoemaker is a is a guy that has a a, a whip of a one point oh one, but he uh, he has an ERA of five point two two. Scott, how uh, how can that be? Why why would that be? Do you, do you have any idea? Uh, I have to assume the long ball, right? Gives up, gives up a ton of home runs. Absolutely right. He is uh, he has given up six home runs in his uh, uh, his fourteen and two thirds innings, and that's uh, that is not good at all. And he's uh, uh, yeah, not 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 good to give up three against uh, Atlanta and uh, two against Boston and one against Tampa Bay. So pitched well against Tampa Bay. Uh, eh, yeah, he pitched okay so last time. I, I, I know he was doing decently. Then Sutsugo took him for a three-run homer, and the game kind of blew up. But. Yep, that was the that was the problem there. Victimized by the long ball. Uh, yeah, I'd like to. Uh, I think I think you'll agree with me though. I, I, Toronto's been playing better lately, but Tampa's just on another gear. Yeah, they're really and they're really hitting the ball well. There's something that I didn't expect to see. Uh, Tampa is uh, is. I actually is, like the Sutsugo guy. They they signed. I actually think it's pretty good. Yeah, they're uh, averaging five hundred five point four runs per game. And well, Brandon Brandon Lau has been phenomenal this year, which I thought he was a good player. I think he'd be this good. I mean, Lau is actually crushing the ball. Yeah. Uh, all right. How about uh, Boston Baltimore? Another another battle there. I said I said I like Boston yesterday. They ended up cruising. Uh, I I know Means has been was good last year. He had some arm fatigue in camp, which is concerning. I know Brewer stinks. Yeah, I'm still going to look to Boston though, because Baltimore is completely falling apart, and Boston's offense has kind of woken up a little bit. So I'm going to lean to Boston. I play the over there. I play the over ten at Camden Yards. It's a uh, you could have got it. I think I think it opened at nine and a half. I would have preferred that. But I'm trying to I'm trying to think what Boston's team total would be five and a half. Um, it's, rough, it's roughly even at minus one ten on both sides. So I got to assume it's probably five and a half for five. Yeah. I'd go five and a half. I really have to guess. Five. Boy, that's why I missed bet online. I got to be honest with you. I got the team totals right there. Oh, it's fine. If, if you don't know, then it's fine. I, I'd assume it was around five and a half. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Either or, I, I think the I think the Red Sox should do enough offensively to win. Means it's not going to be it's not going to be six and a half. So yeah, it's got to be five and a half. Means hasn't looked like the same guy uh, that he was last year, so I'm not really concerned about that. And the Red Sox, their pitching might be terrible, but they can hit. So I'll go. I'll lean to the team total, and I'll lean to the Red Sox money line. Fair enough. Yeah, that's that's not bad. Yeah, Means has been awful. Ten point five six ERA, and uh, uh, again, but a one three WHIP. Somebody that's been victimized by the long. I think ball. it was three nothing in the seventh, and next thing I know, it's seven one because Baltimore's bullpen's still terrible. And I'm like, all right, yep. it's going to get ugly. All right, how about uh, Milwaukee Pittsburgh? Mil- Milwaukee uh, is a uh, is a little bit of a favor. This line, Scott, is actually is actually dropped. It's uh, opened about one forty two, one forty three. It's not on a minus one thirty six for the Brewers. Um, I'm just gonna say thank you and take the Brewers. I don't, I don't know how you don't fade Pittsburgh every game. You know, this is a team that's what, four and seventeen. Four and seventeen. So they're this is rock bottom. They're winning twenty uh, percent of their games. So you're uh, anytime you're getting better. Theoretically, anytime you're betting getting better than minus four hundred. You should load up on who's ever playing Pittsburgh in a blind, in a blind play. But they're due. <laughs> they're so due, right? You lose 17 to 21 games. You're just hustling your opponents at that point. 
Well, you would think they are going to win another game at some point. I'm not going to criticize Milwaukee too much for the past series. I said I liked Minnesota yesterday. Barrios actually was phenomenal. He was great yesterday. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Milwaukee has issues hitting, but guess what? So does Pittsburgh. So I think that's kind of a balance. I think Milwaukee is the better team. So I'll lean to, I'll lean to Milwaukee. Milwaukee has a much better pen. So even if uh, – this is Adrian Hauser against Chad Chad Cool, by the way. So Chad Cool has been serviceable. He's actually but, been better than I thought he would be. But even if you get uh, – even if, if you get five innings out of Cool, You're um, screwed. Milwaukee as the visiting team still gets four shots at that bullpen. The bullpen is – we say it every single show. Words cannot describe how beyond useless that bullpen is. They were actually decent yesterday, though. Yeah, they're uh, they're they're not uh, they're 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 not good. They've got a uh, uh, five six six ERA overall, six point four zero ERA at home. Does this Pittsburgh bullpen? Yeah, and yeah, that is it just it's just not good, Scott. Uh, the Milwaukee pen is much better. Yeah, definitely true. All right, let's uh, take a look at the next game. On the board here, uh, Tigers and Indians. Flutco going for the Indians. Minus 195 is the number there. Nine and a half. I see, I see minus 171. Yeah, I think DraftKings has terrible odds. I think they're the uh, – DraftKings tends to. I mean, that's why it's important to have multiple books. Once again, chop your lines. But I see roughly around minus 170. Fulmer is going to be an opener. He's been terrible. Flutco has been good. Cleveland, underratedly, half a game back of first place in the division. They've actually been cooking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to lean to the Indians because the Tigers, once again, have fallen apart. They have, won, they have lost nine straight. Have All the, the Cinderella teams early on have simultaneously combusted at the same time. Miami's trying to hang in there of, of the three teams. Uh, Miami is probably doing the best right now, but, it's again, they, they also suffer from a lack of competition there in that division. So Yeah, I, I got to go with the Indians. Uh, this team still has issues hitting. But pitching-wise, they're so good that it just doesn't really matter at this point. I get a little nervous about playing the run line with the Indians. We saw that yesterday against Pittsburgh where they, they you know, scraped that score. out. But I think, you can, I think you can lay the wood with confidence here. They're at home. I'd take the first five run line. No, that's not bad either. I like that. Uh, now, here's a game that should be theoretically the best game of the evening. Of course, they very rarely turn out that way. But it's probably as close to a pitcher's duel as we're going to get. It's uh, – the Phillies and Braves, Nola going against Max Freed, two guys that have been uh, have been exemplary. This very season. good. Yeah, both of them have been very good. Uh, Nola has not got a lot of support from the Phillies, and in, in, in what should shock no one at all. Well, he, neither did Freed, right? He went six innings, no runs against the Marlins, and they did basically nothing for him. Yeah, yeah, but they are. Uh, Atlanta is a five and zero oh in his uh, in his five starts. So. Uh, I'm Phil leading Nova's to Atlanta. Like, Philly's yeah. bullpen literally blew a seven-run lead in the first inning yesterday. Philadelphia was actually the favorite here, Scott. I think that uh, I see it roughly as a I see it roughly minus one ten both sides. But yeah, I see. I've got it. Yeah, it looks like it's it looks like, and uh, on DraftKings they've got it actually switched. And last night the, it was it was minus one ten plus one hundred. It's now minus one twelve for the Braves, at least on DraftKings. So I see roughly minus one ten. I would lean to Atlanta. Am I thrilled about it? No, but both bullpens aren't good by any means. I think Atlanta's bullpen slightly better than Phillies. I think Phillies is a bottom five or bottom six, yeah. seven. Or it's a bullpen. So many bad bullpens. Man. So many bad ones. You can really just you know go through the list, and you're not going to be happy with any of them. But yeah, I'll lean to Atlanta because. I like Nova. I like Nola. I mean, but that bullpen is so bad. I think Freed can eat up more innings. I'll take. I'll take the best home team in baseball at a good price with the best pitcher on the mound. And I pass that up. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Royals, Twins, Odorizzi, and Duffy. Duffy has been. Uh, yeah, he's, he's been. Duffy. been uh, eh. He's been Duffy, man. He doesn't give up a ton of hits, and he doesn't. He's, he's his walks are way down, but he gives up big hits. Well, that's the big thing is walks being way down is definitely the surprise. Yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, he's definitely found the groove a little bit there as far as his uh, his control goes. Found the groove, still has an ERA above four point four, but you know he's looked better. He also looked a little bit more. Yeah, again, another guy with an ERA in the mid fours with a WHIP under under one. So um, somebody that's uh, been victimized by the long ball, been victimized by the big inning. Yeah, I wrote an article about this for Winners and Winners. Uh, I'd look at the Twins. I know Odorizzi hasn't been great this season. He also hasn't pitched that much because he did miss the first couple starts. Right. Odorizzi's better than Duffy. 
the Twins are better than the Royals. I know the Royals ended up sweeping the Twins at home in the previous series, whatever. They did. They went and then they went one and three up in uh, up in Minnesota. So I'm saying in Kansas City they swept. So you could say, well, they played better. It, I don't care. The, the Twins have looked like one of the best teams in the league. Uh, Kansas City has looked has been struggling a little bit lately. I think they've lost three of their last four. If I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's exactly um, right. I'll go with the Twins on that one. Yeah, I think it's, I think you're getting a decent price there on the Twins. Um, so I would have to uh, lean Twins there as well. I like the under because uh, six of the seven meetings have totaled six runs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no the kidding. The under. And the Twins, the Twins have not been scoring a lot of runs for all the for all the success. They more impressive had. though. They keep winning. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Um, Cubs and White Sox got uh, Dallas Keuchel and John Lester. How often do you see the Cubs as an underdog at home? Yeah, not very often. Not very often at all, uh, especially to the White Sox. And, uh, yeah, I've got the – White Sox are good, man. People I've got the, the, I've got the, they, had a, they had a lot of hype going into the season. They looked – they struggled early on after giving up, like, eight runs a game to the Twins in the first series. But don't look now. White Sox are 15-11. I thought they were about a year away or so. Mm-hmm. No, this is not bad, man. This team's actually got some pieces. They've won five straight, um, and I'll tell you who has not been disappointing is Dallas Keuchel. He's uh, he's looked good. I don't know if he's looked quite as good as he did in this Houston years, but he's, he's three uh, two. But he's got roughly a three year race, so he's, yeah. it hasn't been his fault. 307, 307 NRA, one hundred one hundred five WHIP. Uh, John Lester, he's been great. What can you say, man? You you think you think it's over? He went through a little down. He went through a little bad patch last year. Uh, but he has been uh, very, very good. Two seven four ERA, point eight seven WHIP. Uh, I'm gonna, I got to take the Cubs here for value, Scott. I just do. I, I like this. I like this White Sox team. They've been playing good baseball, but uh, I'll take the, I'll take the Cubs at home, getting, getting, uh, getting plus money there. This is the same logic I had with the Twins game yesterday, which was my logic of how often you're gonna see the Twins or the Cubs or any of these teams underdogs at home as roughly yeah. as you pick them. Well, you know, that was a, that was the situation with the Houston game yesterday. We, 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 my premium play, we had, we got I got Houston a plus one twenty eight. They won they won seven straight. They're playing the, they're playing a worse team. They were on the road for that one, but same idea. You're looking at the spot and just go. I kind of have to take this because it doesn't happen that often. No, I look out the Yankees when I took them as an underdog against Snell the other day, uh, because I thought you know Yankees are plus one hundred three at home. That doesn't happen ever. Cubs as a as a plus a hundred at Wrigley. Doesn't happen ever, so I'll, I'll lean to the Cubs as well. Now, this is an intriguing matchup here coming up, Scott. Is Cincinnati and St. Louis, um, Dakota? Probably the St. Louis man. They've actually looked pretty good. They're fine. They, no, they, I'm saying for a team that missed like three straight weeks. Yeah, the, the, the COVID thing doesn't seem to have impacted the team. Not at all. They look the same. Miami came out of COVID and, and won what six straight, seven straight. Yeah. They were nuts, and St. Louis has played, you know, they played 500 baseball. Um, Dakota Hudson goes against DeSclafani for the Reds. I like DeSclafani, but I'm still traumatized after saying I liked him before his last start. Oh, he got lit up. But I got to lean, lean to Hudson. You, I can't back it. I give him nine runs in, roughly, in less than two innings in his last no, start. No, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna say that's the, that's, that's the outlier. Uh, he had been really good. He, had, he was yet to give up an earned run in 11 innings. I know, but I jinxed him. He's damaged goods right now. Yeah, no, I think I think he's fine. I think he comes back strong. Uh, Dakota Hudson has been consistently bad. Yeah, it's most of the Reds' bullpen as well that I'm fading. It's just I know that if if Hudson struggles, I have faith in the Cardinals' bullpen to limit the damage and shut it down. I don't feel that way about the Reds. All right, good enough. Uh, we'll it's, really, it's really a coin flip for me. I would just skip the game entirely, but I'd lean yeah. I'd lean Cardinals, especially at home. Cardinals tend to be really good at home. Okay. Um, Texas Seattle, Scott. This is a very, very bad Seattle team. We've talked about them. I can't believe they're giving Texas at minus one twenty. Ad nauseum. How the hell is uh, Texas minus one twenty? Well, I'll tell you why. Because Mar- Marjavisius has actually been decent this year, but so has no. Allard. I don't think Allard's been terrible. Allard has been terrible. Well, he's been uh, he's been not good. He's uh, he's not been great. But he's, been, he, he's a lot of the same as a Stefani. He was victimized by one really bad. That's start. what I'm saying. I remember him being decent earlier this year, and yeah, he had, an outlier. He'd given up first two starts, gave up one earned over nine innings, and then gave up uh, six earned over three innings. Yeah, I mean his number is right now 0 1 5 point two five is how I thought he would his season would go, but it's gone a lot differently than I thought it would go. 
Yeah, it didn't get there that way. Now, now, Mar now Margavish has been. Uh, it was good. Uh, good. As he's come out of the pen. One nine three ERA, point eight five whip. Um, you know, the Seattle they gave the Dodgers everything they wanted there. A couple of their games. They they lost. What, I I forgot how many games they played because they had like a home and home for a little. while. They lost two. They lost two out of three at home. I think. Yeah, that's. Uh, but again, they they were competitive. I'm not a big fan of this Texas team. I just am not. I would might take it. Take a small spin there on Seattle. Although you like, if you're going to play Seattle, you want a little more plus money because that bullpen. It's very is... tricky for me because Seattle's four and eight at home and Texas is three and eight on the road. Yeah, so, yeah. Somebody's going to win there, buddy. They don't exactly instill much confidence, but if if I if I really had to look at this te at teams on paper, I think Texas is better, so I'll lean to Texas. Uh, but both teams are not good. Um. Again, we've got a situation here as the Astros go to go to San Diego. Um, McCullers takes on Richards. Houston getting positive money there, plus one fifteen. I know, I know that the Padres are favored. I, get, I gotta go with Houston. I don't know why you don't. I, I, I can't. I can't not. I I I can't avoid taking them. It's just I, Houston is so dialed in right now. I don't understand. I don't understand this lack of respect for the Houston Astros. I don't get it. Well, some of it might be because of the fact that the Padres keep hitting grand slams in every game they've been in. But was it been four straight games? Uh, four straight games, yeah. Hosmer I don't hit one. I don't even know that's possible. Well, it's not. It until until yesterday, it wasn't. It was the first time it's happened in Major League history. And they won again yesterday against Texas. But then again, you're playing Texas. Now you're playing Houston. Uh, yeah, I'll go to Houston. Props well, you props know, I, I, I talked. I just extolled the virtues of that Houston pen. I got to tell you that the, I, I, even though I took it as a premium yesterday, that game went down exactly the opposite of how I thought it would be. I don't think the pen's that good for Houston, but I, it was mostly, well, they had the, their their stats were okay. They had ERA in the threes. They were. No, they were just look at their actual who they're throwing out there. Not a lot of household names, if you get what I mean. No, but again, you know, that's it doesn't mean much. I'm just saying Houston's bullpen, they don't really have one guy who I trust to shut it down when I need when I need them to. Uh, no. No, they they found that out yesterday that they uh, But San Diego's bullpen's worse, so that's kind of a balance. I, I'm a, I like McCullers, so I always have. I know that his numbers aren't great this year, the five point four seven ERA. Richards has been decent, but at the end of the day, do you tr do you chalk up San Diego's recent success to Solid play, or the fact that Texas just insists on uh, pitching them with the bases loaded every time. No, no. in reality, they just it's Tatis and Tatis and Tatis. Machado. Machado hit a walk off grand slam. No, no, I'm saying Machado had a walk off grand slam, but he's been terrible this season. Hosmer got off to a really hot start, cooled off, and had a grand slam yesterday. Yeah, mostly Tatis, right? Yeah. So Houston has more depth when it comes to the lineup, and I think that. They are just the more talented team. So you're going to be them at a plus price. I'm going to take it. That's hard not to. It is hard not to. I'll take the team on the eight-game winning streak. Sorry. It could be a trap, but that's one of those traps where you just take the value. It's baseball. Yeah. You know, your chances with Houston. Then. You're going to get trapped eventually. You're going to get trapped eventually, but this game is worst case, what, a coin flip? Yeah, that's, that's always my you – know, I've talked about that before. You know, when it's a 50-50 shot and one of them's got plus money, take the plus money. Yeah. So, especially, the team with, especially with the team with the winning streak. Uh, yeah, well, the, you know, San Diego's won four straight, so nothing to sneeze at. But, uh, yeah, it's not eight straight. Uh, Angels at Oakland. Uh, Haney against Fires. Well, I said yesterday, like, the Angels team total over four and a half. They got the five. It was really funny because I messaged you, and I'm like, I'm thinking about a live bet in the Angels. And I look over, and I'm like, oh, Tehran's in the game? Oh, no, I'm out. Tehran's yeah. apparently coming out of the pen. He's still terrible. Of course, that was when they were they were five down. You wanted to take them at plus four and a half. And, I thought I thought about it. Uh, I think they were down nine four, and I was thinking, you know, maybe. And I looked at who was pitching for Los Angeles, and I saw it was Tehran. Yeah. Um, uh, no, but they ended up scoring five, so they ended up going over the team total. Yep, never a doubt. Uh, I'm not getting involved. Oh, how about Oakland? Sean Manaya actually did something. Look for look at him. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. I don't Considering the fact Arizona only scored one run, I'd say he was pretty good. I don't. Uh, I. I just. I can't. I can't get involved with either one of these pitchers. Uh, I'm gonna lean to Fires. I know that Oakland and the Angels have had some pretty close games in the series. You can lean to the over if you want to, but I'm gonna lean to Oakland. Angels have been awful, and they've lost each of their last two games by at least five runs. Yeah, so, yeah. So I'll lean to Oakland. Yeah, eight and eighteen on the season. And Oakland's also really good at home, so I'll lean. I'll lean to Oakland. 
there for a brief moment yesterday, Seattle was out of uh, last place. So for a very, very brief moment of about five minutes. Yeah. So, and then uh, the Mariners game went final. And, Although uh, the Mariners are just half a game back of uh, of, four, of fourth place there in the West. I, yeah. just, I just have to lean to the Oakland. Oakland's roughly like a pick 'em. Angels are three and nine on the road. Oakland's eleven and three at home. I don't know how I'm not supposed to lean to Oakland here. Yeah, that seems like seems like good value there. Uh, by the way, shout out to my Royals who are no longer in last place in the uh, AL Central. I'm and so just, proud of them. Now, now just have three teams in front of them for that division title, so they're on their way. They're saying that they're about to go on a run. So you're saying there's a chance. Yep. Uh, Colorado and the Dodgers. Colorado sinking like a stone there in the West. Uh, Bueller's, though. Not good. Not yeah, good. He's, he's kind of been a money burner. Uh, yeah, he's, a, again, a situation. Would, or Although, I'll tell you, he's pitching against another guy that's burning money is John Gray. Oh, he's, no, I was going to say, this is one of those spots where you really can't take the Rockies because the Rockies stink. And Bueller does have a 5.21 ERA, but he does have a 3.18 ERA at home. It's in one start, so I don't know how much you can factor that in. Yeah, but I, if I was really leaning anywhere, I would just take the Dodgers team total over. Just John, I think John Gray is going to get killed. I, I know it's a late-night game in, in the West Coast. You could argue right. you know, with your point. I, I don't care. Colorado's starter's not good. Their bullpen sucks. They've lost, what, seven in a row? Colorado's I don't, lost, I don't lost, even remember how many they've lost in a row. They've lost four in a row. It feels like seven. It does. But it's not. Just, um, it, it, they, they've just been playing some really bad baseball. I can't, I can't, I can't back the Dodgers to get, to get over five and a half in L.A. I just I can't do it. I'm gonna do, if there's one team that I have faith in doing against, one of those teams is Colorado. So I'll, look, I'll, I'll lean to the Dodgers team total over there. I'll take a, I'll take a, I'll take a big I'll take a big time spin on Colorado just just because of the price. A circle of the wagons game against the rivals. Uh, plus plus two, plus I get plus two hundred on it. Plus two hundred five. Yeah, I, I just Colorado peaked way too early. This team was a second. Yeah. The team came, I don't remember they came in second last last year. I think I think the Pirates were worse in the end of the season. I think I don't even remember. I thought this team was like 20, 30 games under, and they started off with one of the best starts in franchise history. Yeah, and they were they were dreadful. They were dreadful coming down the stretch. Absolutely. Everything everything's hit a wall. Yeah, we've seen this. So before. I I can't back Colorado. I know that you want to argue for value. Dodgers are just a much better team, and no, I just not. I think I, it's, they should score six or seven runs in this game. I think it's a game Colorado wins more than one out of three times. That's simply what okay. I'm okay. Okay, you can make that argument. All right. Uh, now the one I know you've been waiting on. Um, I, it, it killed me last time, man. You know he's going to get killed today. This, <laughs> this is the start after he killed me. You know, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going with the Giants. I, I can't take Robbie Ray. I, I can't do it. It's it's just the Giants have actually looked decent their last two games. One, I, I'll I'll two. have you know, Robbie Ray pitched a no hitter last. Time. You walked six guys. How do you not? How do you not score five runs or more? Come on, Padres. You're the Grand Slam Kings, and you strand people on third base. Come on, guys. That was awful. And they hit the ball so hard against him. They hit so many Adam balls, man. I watched that. They, they had they put together a montage of, of hits against Robbie Ray. Just everything was right at somebody. It was so annoying, but whatever. Anyway, I'm leaning to the Giants. I don't, I don't, no more comments about it. Best line, best line of the year, six walks, one hit batter, no hits. Something else right there. God bless you, Robbie Ray. Robbie Ray against Logan Webb. I'm leaning uh, to the Giants. You, you can't really talk me off the ledge here. <laughs> uh, where's the know, I'll go Giants first five. Uh, it's uh, it, the Giants. <laughs> they've, been, they've been good the last two days. The man. Diamondbacks are the favorites, man. I, I Diamondbacks are the better team. They Oakland. They didn't play well against Oakland at all. <laughs> uh, in Oakland, I mean. They looked okay in Arizona before. Those. Giants first five. Robbie Ray does it again. I'm, doing, I'm going Giants first five. Webb Web is eh. Hey. Robbie Ray is just bad. Oh, uh, I, I, you know, I love, I love, I want to love Robbie Ray so much. I, he's been so underrated for all of his career. I know, but now he's getting noticed for all the wrong reasons. They finally start to take notice of him, and it's because he's so epically horrible. Yeah, I'm going to lean to the Giants. I'm assuming you. Oh, uh, Logan Webb. Uh, oh God, he's been he's been dreadful as the uh, last couple starts. He's given up five runs over uh, uh, over seven and two thirds. Oh God. Yeah. Over, I guess. Uh, yeah, boy, the one. I, I hate taking overs in Oracle. 
but horrible with that pitching play. matchup, that might be a decent horrible play. Arizona's, yeah, like, offense, Arizona's offense fell asleep against Oakland. And Oakland is a good team, but how do you get shut down by Sean Manaya? Yeah, I don't know. I don't so know. I'm, I'm going to link to the Giants' first five. I'll just All fade right. away. I know yeah. that it's, it's, the, it's the start after I lost the play of the day, so I know that he's going to give up six runs. I'm just going to go with the Giants' first five. I'll, I'll ride with you there. All right, there you go. Hey, that's a baseball show, everybody. Um, eh, not a lot of matchups that I love here. I, I, I got one of, one of those baseball plays is my premium play. So. Well, the Yankees aren't playing for health reasons. So, uh, yeah, it's a matter of watching uh, basketball, hockey. Uh, I'm trying to think if Bellator is on tonight. I think it might be. But uh, I'm, either or. Uh, yeah, baseball is usually entertaining. But yeah. when your favorite team – I know you're a Royals fan, so you watch a decent amount of Royals games. When my favorite team, the Yankees, just aren't playing, I'm suddenly a little less interested on the card, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I catch up on uh, – I, I binge watch some of my shows every once in a while. So, Well, I'm, I'm not going to be doing that. I'll probably be watching basketball. But shout out to my, uh, my Seattle Storm, by the way. My, uh, my long shots uh, – not long shots, but my pick to win the WNBA. Lost outright as 18-point favorites yesterday. Shout out to them. Nice job. Nice job indeed right there. They're still 9-2. and two. They're still the best team in the league. But uh, losing outright as a minus 18, that's a pretty nice payday if you had uh, some money on the fever. It is. A little fever, a little fever money right there. Yep. All right, bud. Well, uh, we're halfway. We're about halfway done. We've uh, we finished our NBA. We finished our MLB. By the way, if you're interested. Mathematically speaking, we're two-thirds of the way done. Uh, yeah, but time-wise, we're not. Yeah, so. that's fair. All right, so come back and see us on the UFC show. That's our MLB show for today. Uh, make sure you check us out each and every day here on Today in Sports Betting. We'll have it up, uh, have it up late tonight. If you want to uh, wake, wake and rake tomorrow, you'll have a, a full board of picks for our MLB game. So we'll look forward to that. And as always, we thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to check out winnersandwiners.com for deeper dives into every game going on in America every single day. Check it out, winnersandwiners.com. We are Scott and Scott here on Today in Sports Betting. Thanks once again for joining us. Good luck on all your plays today. Stay safe, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.